Good day, mate. Thought I heard something outside. Oh, yeah, there it is. Ooh, it might be going on a dump run. Might need to get Chris's attention. I see them loading up trailer over there. I think they're going on a dump run. That was a bad time. That was a bad time. I'm not sure, but I just heard noises. That's all. Hey, come look at this. This is pretty cool. Look. Look at that. That's an internet dish. I put it up. Look, can you see the TV dish down there? No, not quite. Okay. Well, I put up both of those dishes. That's right. It was me. Seriously? What? My viewers must see it. Just, just as I show you. Don't be jealous. Just because they now have TV because of me. Don't look at me like that, Swan! Stop looking at me, Swan! <laughs> you drove bumper cars up. Shut up, Spider. <laughs> I drove a real car once. Did you got stuck in the corner? You weren't there. <laughs> Everyone look careful. And birth certificates. Let's see them. Move it. Move it. Nice shot! Alright! Nailed it. <laughs> Especially from behind. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only way that we can do pranks, though. People cannot know who we are. <laughs> it's genius. I think I might have a blue one somewhere, too. <laughs> They'll never know. Yeah, you need to comb your hair. <laughs> That's wild. Well, I got my hairs cut, and I felt like I was being an inconvenience toward the person who cut my hair. Oh, is this short enough for you? No. Is it now? No. Is it now? Oh, now you're not even going to ask me? Okay. Oh, you're not going to trim my sideburns? That's fine. Oh, you're not going to style my hair? Oh, that costs money? Oh, you don't do that? Really? Really? You're the only person who's ever done that. I was not happy. About what? The person who cut my hair. It's almost as if I was an inconvenience for her. Walking around there with a cast on her foot. <laughs> you nobody got time for that. Exactly. It's like, oh, you're not going to style my hair? We don't do that. You're not going to trim my sideburns? We don't do that. <laughs> Bull crap! Everybody who's cut my hair at that place, except you, has done it. Not only that, you didn't get it short enough either. I had to ask like three times. Why are you venting out of here? I'm venting. Because <laughs> once I get the ball rolling, I can't stop. I'd ask three times to cut it shorter, and then she finally just didn't ask anymore, and just, there you go. <laughs> okay. Uh, watch out for Kha'Zix. It's nice and short on the sides, but it's still long on top. I don't know how I feel about that. Man. So how pathetic is this? It's almost midnight right now, and I just put on a pot of ramen. I've been watching videos on YouTube of, like, classic Windows noises, startup sounds, and shutdown sounds. I've been watching classic Windows commercials, reliving, like, the early to mid-90s of my childhood, when I first started using a computer. 
And I'm looking for a freaking Commodore 64 on your eBay and Craigslist. What am I doing? I mean, seriously, this is just pathetic. This is how I spend my weekend, apparently. <laughs> At least I can openly acknowledge and know that it's pathetic that I'm doing this, but... I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just want to... I started thinking about back in the early 90s when I would use a computer for the first time. I had uh, a couple CD-ROMs um, that were, like, stories on CD and interactive. Uh, one of them was Grandma and Me by Mercer Mayer. And, uh... I had another one, I don't remember what it was, but then uh, there was also a lot of three and a half floppy disk games that we had, like Wheel of Fortune, um, Hugo's House of Horrors, the whole Hugo trilogy, if you know what that is, um, and just thinking back, it's like, yeah, I remember that stuff, I remember the dial-up noise and hearing the America Online, you've got mail for the first time and stuff like that, and just, I miss those days, I wish I could go back to like, 94 at this age right now if I was still 23 years old and able to go back to 1994 that would be that'd be interesting I just want to watch my childhood from a third person point of view and why not why not I think it'd be interesting I know if I went back to 95 Carlisle Pennsylvania all I would have to do is be outside because I was outside a lot but yeah sometimes I'm just curious I wish there were parts of my childhood that I could fix. Of course, primarily those parts is stuff that is beyond my control, but... Yeah. Primarily leaving Korea. I wish I wouldn't have left. Time for bed. Good night! How long?